Hello, this is Marcia and in this video I will present you the new features from version 9.10.010. So the main new feature we are releasing within this version is a new uh, team template. It's called Soft Cloud, and it's based in this Admi LTE elements. So uh, we took all these colors and uh, backgrounds and added to a script case. I can open here a grid application to show uh, more about this team. As we can see, uh, we have all this um, background in white and then we have here um, the options from script case there is two different this team has uh, two different sizes we have the normal size and the small size so if we change here to the small size we can see all the paddings and size are smaller and the normal one I have also a vertical grid um, form application, vertical form, so we can see here the options also within the master detail, pagination, also horizontal form, and along with the new team for the applications, we have released also new team, uh, new two di different new teams for chart application. So if we go here, we can see some uh, charts using this new teams. We have here bars, um, columns, denote, and so on. So also uh, within this um, new team, we are releasing some improvements within the models of the applications. We can open here a model to see. We have this new component for the model uh, for the models. So you can see it's a new layout. There, are, there is also some uh, options within here the model. You can uh, search a field. If you have like bunch amount of, of fields, you can choose here the, using this. Uh, search option you can also select multi fields and drag to the other side and the opposite so this option of multi dragging is also available for these models and we have the buttons here for interaction so this is a new component um, dual list box the, the name of the component we are using now for the models of script case so you can use here as we have this option to open the buttons in a model or you can also have the other way opening uh, within a div okay so let's go to a script case and let's check how we can implement this new features so I will lock here to my script case create a new project let's use the sample database and here you will be able to see the two new teams let's select and set this one as default so you have the normal one and the small let's quickly create here a grid application okay we have here the grid application with the new team and also the new models you can add a button to the toolbar called teams and using this button you'll be able to preview uh, the teams here within the application so we have the small soft cloud and the normal one okay um, here within this uh, toolbar um, options you can scroll down and you will see uh, the new option for mode drag support this is for the models and you have here the last option it's not something new but it's something we have here which is to choose uh, whether to open your buttons within a model or within a div below the toolbar this is the option we had uh, as default before and we are changing now for the uh, model option okay so if we do here the change it will be the same uh, dual select list uh, component being used but now opening here uh, as a div below the toolbar 
or you can use the option uh, to open with uh, within a model okay so so this is going to be the default option now uh, regarding the chart application we have this uh, two new teams so if we open here the chart application we can also um, see the two new teams apply it to the teams area if you go here there is this uh, deep sh uh, sky blue and also the high chart those are the two new teams for the chart application deep sky blue and high chart here using this um, preview you can also see how the team will look like in different um, types of chart okay so the high chart will be uh, automatically applied to this uh, team i mean when you go here to um, application teams uh, the one that will be um, automatically attached to the softy cloud will be the high chart so if you want to check here the advanced options you can save uh, the team i will save as project and then we can open the advanced options and and to attach to, to finish this new team, we had to add many new options within this uh, area. So we have added many new classes, let's say like this. If we go, for example, here, you can see we have also a new option to add um, the header template and the footer template to the team. I mean, you can attach now uh, your header and footer templates to the teams. Okay, this option is new. Um, you have also, for example, within the form application uh, within the option blocks you can now um, add the um, style for the border of the blocks okay there is also another option here for you to add paddings to the label above and some other options we have added here to this area to um, create this new team so this is also going to be available in case you want to customize your uh, team template so in this area you can do all this customization and then apply to your projects your uh, customized team or you can use the team in the way we we made just by adding to the project as we also did okay if you have created already your applications and you want to change the team let's say you will do here your modifications and then save uh, if you want to apply to all your projects to change the team, you can go to application, express, edit, and here you'll be able to select the applications you want to change. And then you can go here for this option, um, application team. Um, then you go here and choose your customized team. Okay, in this way, you will um, modify your application teams if you want to apply this team uh, for the default as default of your project, you can go to project properties and apply here within the team option. You'll be able to see your project teams. It's already here and then you change and set as default. So for the next applications you create, Scriptcase will consider this new team as default. For the form application, uh, we have also another um, uh, new feature besides the option for you to add the, the, the blocks uh, customization I was showing there within the team. We have here within edit fields option, this area for you to customize the markers uh, positioning for the mandatory fields. So let, let me run this form for, for you to see. We have this asterisk here. You can now choose the position of this, uh, if it's right or left. Yeah, okay, and you can customize this uh, text here for the mandatory fields. In this case, we have the option to display or not this message. And if you are displaying, you can uh, add your uh, text here or your link using the uh, data dictionary to translate this uh, variable. Okay, so you can now customize this uh, mandatory fields text and also the uh, markers position. 
okay? So this is all we have for this version. It's a minor version, in fact, 9.10.0.10. So this is a minor version. We are releasing with this new features. For you to update to this version, you need to have your uh, upgrade active. So you just go here to options, settings, and update version. Then you have all these new options available for your script keys. Okay, so I hope you like it, the news and I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.